Bonjour friends and happy French Friday to you. Okay, recently friends, if you remember, I shared a makeover project with you uh, doing a German schmear technique on our brick on our fireplace. I left the very top layer of bricks alone because Mr. French Farmhouse Flair thought that he would just build a custom mantle around the very top layer of brick. But then we both just decided to uh, do a different kind of mantle and we thought it would be nice to have a solid wood beam for a mantle piece. So we are going to remove the brick on the top and uh, make room for that beam. Ideally, we would have loved to have found an old reclaimed beam to use for a mantelpiece, but those are a little hard to come by, so the next best thing is to buy a new beam and try to make it look older by distressing it and giving it uh, an older look and feel to it. So that's what we did. We bought a new beam, here it is, and my husband decided to distress it with his hammer and so giving it the worn marks and I think it turned out great. You could also use a chain if you wanted to uh, distress it with a chain as well. We purchased this beam at Home Depot and this is a 4x10 Doug fir beam and my husband cut it down to 8 feet because that's the size that we needed it to be. We purchased Bare Premium Water Base Stain and Poly in a satin finish at Home Depot and the color is Espresso and it's much darker than it looks on the picture on the can so we're both getting very nervous here. The color we were trying to get is the color of our beams in our house in the ceiling of the dining room and this is quite a bit darker than that. We tried wiping a lot of the stain off with the rag, but it just wasn't enough. So my husband ended up taking his sander to the beam and sanding it down. Here's my husband installing the mantle now. It is a little better since he sanded it down, but it's still a little darker than what we had anticipated. This antique mirror you may recognize uh, from my other home, and I had it at the top of the stairs uh, by the stair landing but it was an antique gold color before. When my mom was here visiting, we painted it white and then distressed a little bit to let the gold show through. It shows up so much better now being white against the wood walls. The white berry wreath is from Walmart this year. I found it actually in the new Christmas stuff they just put out, but I think it can be used all year round. It's so neutral. We hung my French country wood wall panels on either side of the fireplace and I think these look so pretty for fall with the wheat farm scenes on these panels. We also hung the antique brass matchstick holder next to the fireplace here. Now we are ready to get to the fun part of decorating our fireplace mantle. I'm going to start by adding these green topiaries in the urns here and these two I thrifted I believe I got these for $4.99 each, if I remember correctly, and I believe that they originally came from Big Lots. Next, I want to add some statues that I've had for years, and I just put some wheat in the baskets of these statues, and I'm going to put her down on this side, and then I'm going to add him on the other side and I've put wheat in both of their baskets just for fall I think that's a nice touch for fall and I have had these for years like I've said and I believe I picked these up uh, from a consignment store let me know what you prefer um, with these type of decorating videos do you like me to tell you where everything came from while I'm decorating and uh, the details of it or do you like how lately I've been playing it just to music and not talking so let me know in the comments below which you prefer next I'm taking this diamond shaped window frame and I used a thumbtack to uh, hold my wreath so I just I'm just hanging that small wreath on the thumbtack and that works really nicely for this 
and I purchased that small wreath with the white berries um, from Hobby Lobby and got that uh, when it was on sale. These two window frames that I'm using I've had for years and I purchased them when we went to Texas on a trip and we went to a very large flea market there. I like how these small wreaths tie in with my larger wreath that I have hanging on the mirror because they do have the same white berries and they also have the greenery which is really nice because I'm adding quite a bit of green uh, with my fall decor this year which is exactly why I picked this up this year from Walmart it says hello fall on it I love the fact that it had the green leaves and I knew that that would tie in with my wreaths with the green leaves as well and so I knew that would tie in nicely and it also has a little touch of black which is nice because it uh, will tie in with the black that's also surrounds my uh, fireplace opening Next, I am using this metal gold pumpkin with the wood base from Ross. This gold is going to tie in nicely with the other gold accents in the dining room. I love the color green on this fall pumpkin, and so that's why I picked it up at Hobby Lobby this year at 40% off. This small white pumpkin I have had for years, and I can't remember where I got it from, but I love it because it looks very realistic. It reminds me of the small white pumpkins you can pick up at the grocery store around this time of year. These two fall lanterns I picked up at Walmart this year, and I really like them because it did have the green pumpkins, which I knew I was going with the green pumpkins this year, and a lot of the greenery, and, and it did have some of the cream uh, colored berries on it and it also had this really pretty battery operated candle in the center and I just knew that this would look so pretty on the mantle for fall this year so I did pick up two of these so I'm going to put one on each side of the mirror and I can't decide whether to put these uh, which direction to put these in if I should put them like that or should I turn them and have them going like that so I'm not sure. I think I might leave them like this. Okay, now I'm going to use my pumpkin garland and hang that across the front of the mantle. And originally this was silver, like a metal galvanized color. And I just took my gold rub and buff to the front side of the pumpkins. And uh, now they are gold. And so it will tie in with my other gold accents that I have in the room. So I'm just hanging it um, across and just placing it underneath these uh, lanterns so that uh, that will hold it in place. Well, I thought I was all done decorating and then I decided to add some candlesticks on the end of the mantle. And I picked up these French country candlesticks back when I lived in Louisiana. I found these on Facebook Marketplace and I just think they're so pretty. So I'm going to add these to the end of the mantle, one on each side. And then I think we're gonna be done, friends. Today was a very cold and dreary, foggy kind of day. And so I thought, you know, it wouldn't matter if I videoed this during the day or in the evening because it's gonna be dark and the lighting's not gonna be good, probably either way. So I ended up just decorating this in the evening. I sometimes just get in the mood to decorate in the evening and I thought a fire would be really nice this evening because it has been so cold today and the temperature has dropped even more so now that the sun has gone down. My husband has offered to build a fire for me, so I think it's just going to make 
it's so cozy in here with the fire tonight. So I hope that you enjoy the fire as well. It was 40 degrees, guys, earlier today. And now that it's evening, I know it's even colder now than it was earlier today. So I don't even know what it what the temperature is right now outside, but it's definitely really cold tonight. So we are going to enjoy this fire and try to stay cozy and warm inside tonight. And I just can't even believe though that it's this cold out and it's only October. Now I'm going to let you enjoy a little dining room fall tour just to music.
Okay, friends, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check out my online store. I will leave that link for you in the description box below. It will also be at the end of this video as well. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. So until next French Friday, friends. Until then, au revoir.